So the task that I have given you uh, was just to write a program which will allow the user to check whether a given alphabet is vowel or consonant, right? So what we can do is we can define a char character, I mean data type char, and then we can say uh, ALP alphabet, and then we can say console dot it's not necessary yeah we can define it directly other in this way right line enter the alphabet and then we can say alp equals to convert to char or char we can say console dot read line oh let me call them okay this is one way or you can simply delete it here or you can say here c h a r and then we can apply the switch to this variable which is al but we can say char dot to if you want lower or upper so you can make use of char dot lower inside it we are going to use alph alphabet and then what we are going to use so that's just a method which i've told you to help is going to help that to uh, convert that into lowercase okay all the even if you type it in capital it's going to convert that into lower and then very simple thing we will say okay, case a okay then we'll say case b then we'll say case not B, all the cases A, E, I, case, I guess it should work, A, E, I am using this, let me colon, I have to use a colon, A, E, I, O, then case U A E I O U. That's it. And you can say for all these statements, you can say console dot right line and letter. Sorry, A L P H plus is. And then we can say break here, you're getting. And by default, it's very cool. You can say console dot right line. ALPH plus. as a consonant semicolon and then we'll say break that's it so in a very simplest way so for all the statements whatever it is a e there's no need to separately create a block for e then for a then for i then for o for u so i type it in all the five vowels and for all of them one statement is in a console dot right line letter or you can say alphabet is vowel or is a vowel then break the statement if it's not any one among these five vowels then you have to say that alphabet is a consonant so save it and run it enter the alphabet it's a you can say a is a vowel okay so we have to give a space here Run it again. B 
can see B is a consonant. Run it again. E, we can say E is a vowel. So with this, you can have another version of it. The way you have written the code is good, but this is the simplest way where all the cases will be defined first and a single statement will be stated or written or you can say written and then you can use a default one okay clear mm -hmm. yeah Ooh. Example third simple calculator program using C sharp switch statement. So this is the third example where I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna teach you how we can create or write a program for creating a code to calculate the numbers using the switch statement okay and then we'll move to loops clear yeah so uh, this program is very simple even simpler than the programs that i have been teaching you in this particular class of today so what we are going to do first is we are going to define another car uh, variable. Bless you. OP, for example, or any other variable name. And then we can say, we can define double as a data type. Then we can say first, second. Even if you want, you can directly define them. Oh, I first, second, and result. You can directly define them while defining the conversion, okay? So then I'm gonna use console.writeLine, enter the, or enter first number. Then a space and semicolon. I will use first, and I will put it equal to Convert, convert to, to double because the variable is the data type we are using is double, right? So that's yeah. two double and then not int because it's not an int. So console dot read, read line. line and two parentheses of it. Then again, console dot write line. I will ask the user to enter the second number okay and again i will use second the variable second here equals to convert sorry not cp it's c o n v r t convert dot to double so to d because the data type is double and then console dot read line with two parentheses that's second case okay and after that again console dot write line enter number operator or yeah mm -hmm. op operator for example, it can be plus, sorry. Yep, it can be plus. Minus. Can be minus. It can be star for multiplication. It can be divided by. Modulus. Okay. 
and even it can be mod and then anything these are the important ones and here I'm going to choose this variable op equals to car I will say console dot read it this is another way op is equal to type of car console dot read it I have not given the result so far because result will be used within the switch case okay mm -hmm. so now I am gonna define the switch case on what OPPO OP sorry not OPPO or you can say it's OPPO I'm gonna make it like that so switch case on this it's gonna read this okay OP is called car console dot rate this other type so what I'm gonna do is case if it's addition case what we have to do first plus second we'll say result the variable which we have defined is equal to first plus second right mm -hmm. and semicolon then we'll write console dot right line For example, in the curly brackets, I will say at zero's position plus at one one's play position because always first uh, the storage of variables will be storing from the indexing is going to store from zero then one is equal to whatever will be stored on second place. So that's two is equal to two. And then comma, we can say first, comma, second. We can do it in this way also. And then result. Just like That's C. Third. It's like C. So semicolon. And then break. After that, case minus. Okay, we can use the same thing. I will copy it without wasting my time. Console, and now here I'm going to replace it to minus again. The same thing first, second, and result and break. Clear, yeah. Then, thirdly, star. So, again, copy the block, paste it. here but instead of case this I am going to use case star result first minus sorry star and here we have to say minus here we have to say star then console whatever is there okay and then after that case divide so that's divide here and divide here okay if you want mod you can go with mod also mod here and then break you can say default invalid operator for this so console dot right line invalid operator semicolon and then break that's it alas so this is the program where we have defined car op with the help of which we're going to define so when we even it's going to read it first second and third the result is the variables under double so we will ask the user to enter first and second uh, values and then op is going to read them we're going to store them all in op and then based on op we're going to have the cases plus minus star and then 
uh, divide and mod. When we save it and run it, enter the first number, for example, 10. Enter the second number, 12. Enter the operator. For example, I want to enter plus. You will see. 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. Are you understanding? Mm. Yeah. So this is a type of calculator. So again, I'm going to run it. Now I want 10, hit enter, and I want 5, and I want to use minus for them. So 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Okay, hit enter again. You can run it out. Now I want 100 and 50. I'm going to use mod 100 mod 50 is equal to 50. Okay, clear? Yeah. And after that, you can say 5 multiplied by 5. I'm going to use star for that, 25. So that's a very basic calculator which is going to help us to add the numbers together. First, if you want three numbers, four numbers, so keep on going, second, three, four, five, and then keep on writing the cases for them. So this is a very beautiful program for a calculator. Clear? Mm -hmm. Using the switch statement. So with this, we have completed our switch statement, or you can say we have completed our all conditional statements, if, else, else, if, and switch, okay, with the examples also.